On Wednesday, the jazz music industry woke up to the sad news of the death of a veteran jazz musician Friday, Birimi of Mbare Trio, and her tributes have been pouring in for the jazz legend. In studio, we have a redound re guitarist and a music producer, Clive Monomukundu. Good morning, Clive. It's a pleasure to have you in studio. Uh, good morning, and thank you for having me. Okay, my mm. condolences on the loss of our legend. Ah, it is a really sad story. You worked closely with uh, Friday. Please tell us what kind of person was he? Um, as you know, all musicians are known to be comedians. And um, I think the funniest of all musicians in Zimbabwe was Fred Mbirim. Uh, as you know, he was uh, born 1944. Mm -hmm. So he was around uh, 77 years old. But he's somebody who could... Um, mingle very well even with teenagers and uh, even with any age so you are somebody who, is, who was very joyful somebody who was very nice to be around and a very dedicated musician so it's a very big loss to the industry wow he sounds like a very unique uh, character to be able to engage with the diverse ages and uh, characters he was very very unique mm. as you know he was also an educationist uh, he had a bachelor's degree in English. He was once a headmaster. He was once in arts ad administrated college of music. Uh, so he was somebody who was just diverse in everything that he did. Okay. Mm. So can you just tell me about his contribution to the industry? What's the impact that he left in the industry? Um, Friday left a very huge impact in that he was one artist who encouraged musicians to be educated. And uh, he himself was educated. He was somebody who had a degree. And um, one time he was uh, head of the Zimbabwe Union of Musicians. And he successfully advocated for a minimum wage for musicians and uh, other contributions that he made to the arts industry that include performance, uh, inspiring young people, and uh, even uh, mentoring young people in the jazz field. So definitely we can say the industry is poorer without Friday. Yeah, a library, as you say, oh. as you know what they say, if an old person dies, it's a li library that has gone up in flames. So tell me about some of the memorable moments that you shared with Friday. Ah, there are many. And uh, one of the memories that most people know is uh, there was a time that we just used to enjoy trading insults on Facebook. Mm -hmm. And uh, a number of people ended up thinking that those insults were real. Because mm. I took on, took on, took on Facebook. Mm -hmm. I said, I don't know, I don't know, but it was just for fun. Mm -hmm. so <laughs> did you send that communication to the fans to know that yeah, you no, were uh, not later on we And did. did they actually, you know, hold that truth to say you were friends? Yeah, they, they know. Because even after he passed away, and I don't took a phone that I'm done. How can you just go? I can't go. I can't go. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that yeah. really shows that there was a very good relationship. Yeah, very Trade there, there's a guitar there. Please, yeah. can you just take it away for us? There's a song that they used to sing, which was called uh, Kugeto. Kugeto. Tino Vambare. Tino Vambare. Kugeto. Yeah, I'm not a very good singer, so I just did this for Friday. Oh, nice. I know you, you could be laughing at me right now. <laughs> <laughs> I was already, you know, clicking away. I was really... <laughs> yeah. 